Hello everyone, let's tie around gele together. So the ratio we'll be using for this gele is 65 to 35, meaning that one side is about two third and the other side is about one third of the entire gele length. The gele length is about two and one quarter yards, starts about 18 inches in length and it has four joinings. So before you start to tie, you fold one inch inwards just the way I did right now and you do that all through the length of the gele before you start to make your pleats. Don't forget you partitioned 65 to 35. Now, please pay attention to how I'm going to make my pleats. So to make it easy, I'm going to do it on my tie. So I'm holding the gele material in such a way that some of my fingers are underneath the material and my thumb is up. Don't forget our one inch that we folded inside. Now I'm using my fingers beneath to push the gele material upwards and I'm securing it with my thumb once it gets to where the initial pleat was. And I'm making sure that the space in between each material I'm pushing up is equal to the previous one. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here. If you don't, um, play it back as many times as possible. If your gele has only three joinings, you can do about four pleats and go ahead to place it on her head just as I've done. Every pleat you make must run from one end to the other end. So the ones that we made before placing it on our head will serve as a guide to making the rest of the pleats so you just trace the ones that you have made you can see what i just did on that side now she has turned to the other side and i'm continuing the one i made before i placed it on her head i hope you understand so just use that one as a guide till you get to the back of the head and then we go and cross it at the back just as if we are crossing a scarf so before you cross the gilly at the back you open it up so that you can see what you are doing very well you can see how i'm arranging the pleats before crossing it and also when you want to cross the shorter side must always come up always always come up then the last thing when you are crossing is to pull the longer side completely to the left side see how i pulled it you want that place to be flat if you don't pull everything com completely it's going to be bulky at that side and it's not going to um, be neat when you are done. Now with that longer side, we are going to continue making our pleats. So you bring it up and you continue forming pleats. So I made about three pleats for now and I'm going to take it all the way to the other end. Don't forget what I said about your pleats. Any pleats you make must run from one end to another. Try not to let any pleats disappear and also don't be tempted to create a new pleat midway any pleat you are forming should be a continuation of the one that was coming from the other end and it must get to the opposite end so can you see now the three pleats i made i've gotten to the opposite end and i told her to hold so that i can go and tie it at the back you can actually make all your pleats before tying but i don't want to do that i want to tie it so that the gele can be secured then i can you know take my time and make the remaining pleats without the fear of the gele getting loose please pay attention to how i'm going to tie this gele now so you gather both ends nicely that's the long and the short ones don't just squeeze it together see how i'm picking it gently and then you tie but not tightly once some people tie their gele at the back like this it becomes so small that it will be so hard to even make pleats so to avoid this that's why i said don't tie it tightly just pull gently at once then you see that part that i'm touching that part is the part that lays flat on the head remember that our one inch so the part that was not sewn the part they did not sew on both sides so that's the part that you need to pull to get tight what we want is just for the base that's that part that is on our head the parts that we have used to make pleats that is laying down on our head we only want that part to become tight we don't want we don't want to pull the remaining part of the gele material which we are going to use to make the remaining pleats if we pull everything we are pulling even the ones that the one that is remaining that we need to use to make pleats on top I hope you understand my explanation so i'm pulling only the parts that they did not sew you can see where i grabbed just the part they did not sew and i pulled it which made only the base to be tight then i tightened it a second time just so it doesn't um, get slack and unravel so because i did that i have a, enough material left with which i'll use to make the remaining pleats i need to make now we're going to finish the rest of the pleats the pleats we have been making since we have been making one pleat after the other 
but now because we want the rest of the plates to go high we are going to be making the plates on top of each other it's going to be laying on top of the previous one not at the back of the previous one if you continue making it at the back of the previous one it'll just be going backwards it's not going to have um, any form of height or whatever so now the pleats i'm making are on top of the previous ones just be watching what i'm doing and also don't forget what i said any pleats you make must run from one end to the other end so i'm going to continue making the pleats one by one just be picking the gilly material bit by bit don't pick too much material at a time if you pick too much material before you make few pleats you would have exhausted your gilly material and your pleats will not be many and if you pick too small it will be so hard for you to finish it because it will just be opening up back so you can you just pick equal amount you make sure that the spacing between them is the same thing so keep picking and folding over each other you know till you exhaust the gilly material I also have a video on this channel where I tied the round gele on myself. So it's something that you can do by yourself as well on your head. I'm going to leave the link here or maybe in the description box so you can check it and watch. In case you are stopping by for the first time, the Bell Makeovers is a makeup artist based in Lagos, Nigeria. We offer makeup services for all kinds of events. We offer trainings, both physical trainings and online trainings. You can send a DM on Instagram if you want to make more inquiries. Please like this video, leave a comment, share to your friends so that I can reach more people. And also subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all the love. Now I've exhausted all the gilly material. I've made my pleats all the way to the top. So I'm going to use that, the pleats I made in the middle as a guide for this left side now. So I'm just going to be tracing the pleats I made. I'll make sure that it gets to the back of the head. If you are struggling with making the pleats with the gele on the head, just try to perfect that technique of pleating it while on your thigh. If you can perfect that, you'll be able to transfer that skill to making pleats anywhere in any direction. It's still the same process of some fingers being underneath the material and your thumb being above it, you know, to secure it down. So once you can perfect it, you'll be able to do it easily on any part of the gele. So now I'm done with this side and I'm going to continue the pleats on the other side. So you can see, I'm just going to use the pleats that I already have as a guide. I'm just continuing those ones. You make sure that you don't lose any pleats and don't create any new pleats in the middle just use that one as a guide so that our gele will not be flat you can see that the pleats are close together now i'm going to be lifting the gele so that it, the pleats can have some gap in them and the gele will have some height you see i just pushed it up so you can do that as many times as possible as long as your gele does not scatter so you see i did it a bit and i told her to hold it and then i'm going to continue making my pleats i used my hand to secure the ones i've done so that it will not get flat again and the pleats will not scatter so you can do that two times three times four times you know and continue pushing the gele up as long as you have enough material to do that so you see i'm holding it and i'm making my pleats you want to make sure that the pleats get all the way to the back of the head you are going to pleat till you exhaust your gele material you must split it to the end so that the shape can come out the same way it's coming out at the other side. So see now, I've, got, I've gotten to the back and I'm going to split all the way to the back. So I loosened the, um, the second knot I made when I tied the gele. Now I'm taking the excess gele that is still remaining and I'm tie I'm, I put it in the middle of that knot and I tied the knot over it so that it will help me to secure it. Sometimes when you uh, when you finish your gele what is left is all is so small that you know you can't it's, it's too small to tie it's not enough to tie. So in that case you can just use pin to secure it so that it doesn't um, unravel. Now I'm just putting finishing touches and I'm pushing it back you know to reveal our hairline so that the gele can have more fitting on our head i know that there are so many gele styles now but the truth is round gele will always be classic and timeless and i believe that if you are able to tie round gele it will be easy for you to learn to tie other styles so now i'm just going to clean um knit up the back you know you can't just leave the back looking 
rough i'm just going to knit it up and then pin it and just cover it up you can decide to cover it up just like i did in this video because my model's hair is not made or if you want some of your hair to show you can open up the back and that is your round gilly and yes if you would like to see i created this look on my beautiful model the link will be in the description box you can check it out please like this video leave a comment and share to your friends so that you can reach a lot more people i hope you learned a thing or two i will see you in my next video very soon thank you so much for watching bye